industry news to mobile technology leaks and rumors. We cover tomorrow's tech news today. eSIM Tech News. I have an interesting relationship with Apple. Now, it's not a two-way street. Uh, Apple has no relationship with me. <laughs> I love to troll Apple. And it's not necessarily Apple. It's the fanboys of Apple. I wanted to get this out of the way before we get to our, before we get to our um, topic of the day. I disagree on a majority of their business decisions. Um, but like anything, if I say, oh, I hate Apple, that's only partly true because you have to admit not every company or every person, every single action they do or the company does um, is going to be bad. There are some good things that the company does, and I acknowledge that. But for the most part, I don't like Apple. I'm more used to Android. I'm uh, more familiar with the Android operating system. Uh, more comfortable with the Android operating system. Everybody's aware that of the CPUs that they put out, right? The M1, M2, M3, M4, very, very, very powerful mobile uh, uh, chipsets. Uh, Apple released the M4 chipset uh, technically probably three or four months ago in the iP what is it, iPad Pro. Now they're starting to put them in their desktop. Well, they're, uh, yeah, the desktops and laptops. So MacBook Pro, and then they're also putting it in the small PC. So they offer desktops, they offer laptops, but y'all know I love mini PCs and I've always known Mac mini, right? That's their mini PC, the Mac mini. I've always known they've had one. I just never wanted one because I don't like Apple. Apple just released their Mac mini with the M4 chipset today you can pre-order it and it's available for everybody to buy on friday meaning you can i'm sure they're going to be sold out but technically on friday you can go into a store and purchase one they are available for pre-order today best buy apple you can get this new mac mini it's a mini pc with this new m4 chipset for 5.99 and if you're a student if you have an email address ending in dot edu you can get one for 4.99 it's got me wondering and I, I couldn't believe I was, uh, I caught myself. I was like, damn, what am I doing? They are, they're so good, so powerful. Uh, they offer such an enormous upside, even to somebody like me that does not like Apple. I'm strongly considering getting one. <laughs> um, there's no need for any other PC. So companies that we have reviewed on here, mini PCs, Minus Forum. I love Minus Forum. When you compare the specs of these, it's not even comparable. This one is so powerful, so good. Wow, this is crazy. It's a it's it's got to be a crazy good deal to have me thinking I should get one. Check this out. Here's the base, and this thing is more powerful than 99% of desk desktops out there. Um, and for an unbeatable price. Um, now, you can get them more expensive, obviously, with better specs, but the base model is all you need, uh, unless you're doing, unless you're editing movies or something, and I, I'm not even joking. Um, the, that the base model has got more than enough power that you will need for anything. This thing will play games, AAA games, um, all your flagship uh, games. This thing will, will edit. And even the base model, look, even if I got it, it's going to edit fine. <laughs> the only reason why you would need probably anything higher with the M4 Pro probably because the, the base model will do everything you need. Now, I think you can get it with more RAM and that's fine. So look, so we got the, the base model, 10 core CPU. It's got four performance and six efficiencies, 10 core GPU. This thing's got everything, right? Let's see here, ProRes RAW. It'll, this H, it, media engine, hardware accelerated H.264 and HVAC. 
um, and then ProRes RAW is basically for iPhone because Android doesn't have ProRes. I don't know how that would work, how that, how that would work with a Mac Mini and Azure PC and a Android phone if you wanted to shoot videos, if you wanted to edit videos, shoot videos, uh, uh, pictures and videos on your Android phone and then edit on a Mac. I have never even used a Mac, so I have no idea. Now, this Mac Mini, this M4 Mac Mini comes base 16 gigs of RAM, unified memory. It's configurable up to 24 gigs, excuse me, up to 32 gigs. You can, they have those two options. You can get the base 16, or you can upgrade to 24 gigs with 32 gigs of RAM. Base model comes with 256 gigs of storage. It is configurable up to two terabytes. Wow. Um, the Mac Mini, what is this one? The Apple M4. So the Mac Mini, that's thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. Uh, you can get it with up to sixty-four gigs of RAM. 8 terabytes of storage. Holy crap. 16 will be plenty on a Mac or or in in that setting. Two on the front, two USB type C ports supporting USB 3, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front there as you can tell. Now, all the extra stuff is on the back. So, on the back, there are three USB type C Thunderbolt 4 ports as well as HDMI, Ethernet. Got one HDMI, three Thunderbolt 4s, and an Ethernet port on the back. And then on the front, yeah, it's got two USB 3 ports on the front. Okay. Now, any of those Thunderbolt 4 uh, on the back, you can use those as display outs. So if you had two monitors, you could use one as HDMI and the other one as um, uh, hook that USB type C into the Thunderbolt 4 slot on the back. Um, hell, you could probably run one, two, three, four monitors off of this if you needed to. Um, so this thing, this thing's going to be specced out, right? So if you can get so much power, and let's say you do use a dot edu email address to purchase this so you get the base model which again is better than like 99 percent of computers out there let's say you do use that dot edu so you're going to get all this for 4.99 there's no there's there's no reason to use anything else because you're getting so much for your money even if you hate apple like i do I would be a fool not to, if I was looking to get a new PC, I would be a fool, unless it's a MacBook. I get it, right? Uh, or, I mean, excuse me, unless you needed a laptop. And I, I get that. But if you need a desktop, you would almost be a fool not to get this. Even even me. Uh, I've never used a Mac OS, so uh, I would have no idea what to do. But why get anything else? Why get anything else? Um, and I hate it. I hate it. I'm having to admit that. I hate. I hate it that uh, we've gotten to this point. But it puts pressure on these other companies to a either lower your prices because this thing blows your product out of the water with performance to price, um, or b increase the specs tremendously for what you're asking for as far as price wise um because all you have to show show all you have to show them is this well then i'll just go to a, a, a mac mini this is another reason why um owning most of your hardware manufacturing most of your hardware comes into play so this is something similar to why Google is manufacturing, starting to manufacture their own CPUs and GPUs, because this is why Apple can pack such a punch, such a punch into their product and charge less because they don't have to pay a premium for that CPU, for the hardware. 
Now, they don't own everything. They don't manufacture every component inside the Mac Mini or most of their products. But the main components, the most expensive components, they do. Um, that's why it's so imperative that if you can, it's very difficult. It's taken Google many, many, many years just to get to this point where they're right on the cusp. The next pixel that they put out will be their own made, manufactured, designed CPU and GPU. They're implementing both. Um, that's why it's so imperative because that's how Apple can, can put out such a powerful little computer in charge like, you know, it's almost half the price as as a um, some of these Windows uh, uh, PCs out here that are similar because Apple doesn't have to pay a premium for the CPU, for the GPU, for some of those parts inside there. Um, they're basically cutting out the middleman, right? They are. They are the supplier. They are the designer. They do own that. So um, that's why it's imperative for uh, Google moving forward to do this because they can put their tensor chips in tablets. They can put their tensor chips in a new uh, Google TV stream, uh, 4K streamer. Um, if they want to get to that point, Google, I mean, Google wants to get to the point where Apple is at. Not necessarily battle as far as um, in, in the mini PC world. I'm just talking in general products, uh, products that you showcase. It's important to have your own CPU, your own GPU that you make, that you manufacture. Because not only do you save money, not only do you have more say so in the control over it, um, you can lower the cost. Now, course they're making they're gonna make a killing on these but i'm saying if apple did not own if apple did not own the cpu they would probably you'd probably look this would probably be 899 something like that so they're literally shaving 300 dollars like right off the top so um be on I, I don't know if i'm gonna get one of these um pretty freaking close um never used a mac os never used a macbook um so i don't even know what 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 operating system they're on but um you would be a fool not to consider uh now because unless you hate apple more than i do which i'm sure there are people out there but um not sure how the Android file sharing would be. I'm sure it's just like an iPhone. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sure there's obstacles, but using being an Android user, Windows user, and then bringing a Mac OS into the system, in, into my world, but uh, there's workarounds, right? There's workarounds. Um, but th they are going to kill the game on this. Don't get it twisted. They are killing the mini PC world with this one right now. Um, boy, oh boy, it's, it's insane. 